How to use a digital planner in GoodNotes. I'll also leave timestamps below so you can jump to whatever topic you need. First up is importing the planner into GoodNotes. So you first wanna start by going to your files app and clicking the planner download PDF. Once you click that, you can click the planner button. Use your finger, not up a pencil if you're using that. Then click open. Then it's gonna bring you to the planner builder. Here you can press go and then you can pick your planner options. You can pick your tab color, week color, your ring color, what layout you would like and the start date and then you're going to press build once you're done selecting those options it's then going to build your planner and you can click download now it will take a minute to download and then you'll see up here at the top it'll go to your download section so you can click it and it's now going to bring you right to your files app into your downloads once in your files app you're going to see a zip folder you can then click it to unzip it and a blue folder will appear beside it with the planners in it you can then go to the year you would like so i'm going to go to the 2026 folder tap it and then i'm going to open up the planner that's inside of it once the planner is open you want to click the share button at the top here and then you're going to share it to the app you're using so i'm using goodnotes so i'm going to click the goodnotes app and then you always want to import it as a new document not into the current document it'll automatically go to your document section then at the top left of the toolbar is the read only button here when in read only mode you can now click to navigate the planner by clicking all the tabs you can jump to the daily weekly pages any template pages when in read only mode you cannot write so if you do want to write you are going to have to go back and click the read only button so now i'm going to click that and you'll see it's going to bring down the toolbar here now you have all your writing tools so you have your pen tool then you have the eraser tool that i'm going to click next there's many different tools that goodnotes offers it's such a great app for that reason also if you are in writing mode you can click with your finger to navigate the planner but not the apple pencil some main tools that you can use in goodnotes are the pen tool the highlighter the goodnotes tape as well also, you can click to go to the eraser where you can change the size. Text box, this is where you can type in the planner or use the scribble feature where it converts your writing to text. And then you have the element section. This is where you can add your stickers in that you can later decorate your planner with. Also, there's the photo button so you can add any photo from your camera roll. And then the lasso tool, which is a great tool when you want to copy and paste things or move things around in your planner. When on the select tools, you can then click in to pick the exact color you want. You can add in hex codes too for that color tool. So you can then go ahead and pick your color and you can write something. And then if you want to highlight it, you can click the highlight button, change the color and highlight right over it. Also, if you hold at the end when highlighting, it'll make your line straight. You can go ahead and erase anything that you don't want there. If you wanna type in your planner, you wanna make sure that you are on this text box button. Then you can tap and you can click to show the keyboard and then you can fully type anything in your planner. So you don't have to have an Apple Pencil to use a digital planner and you can move it around. That's a great thing about digital planning. Now, if you've already written something out, you can double click it and you can either delete it if you would like, or you can highlight it and you can then change the color and you can also change the size. So you don't have to do that before you type something out. You can always do it after as well, which is another great feature within GoodNotes. One of my favorite features that you can do in GoodNotes is Scribble. So when the text box button is on, make sure in your settings under Apple Pencil, Scribble is turned on. Then you can actually hand write in your planner and it'll auto convert it to text. I love this feature. Next up, you wanna to go to thumbnail mode by clicking the button at the top left. And if you want to duplicate a page, you can click the page you wanna duplicate, then click the little arrow at the bottom right, then select duplicate. And you'll see here, a new duplicated page appeared. If you want to move that page, you can hold it to drag and drop it anywhere in the planner. You can also copy and paste pages by clicking the page you want to copy, click the arrow, then click copy. Then you can go to whatever page you want it before or after, click the arrow on that, then add page after or before, and then click paste page, and it'll paste that new page right in there. Another great tool that's in GoodNotes is the lasso tool. So with this tool, once you write something, if you want to move the location or make any changes, you can click this button here at the top left, draw around it, and then you can move it anywhere in the planner. With this tool, it's also great because you can copy and paste it or duplicate your text. Then you can go to different pages in the planner. So instead of having to rewrite it, you can simply paste it right into that new page. 
Once the planner is in GoodNotes, you can also rename it. So you can tap the top current title and then you can type whatever you would like in to name your planner. I'm just gonna name mine planner for this year. Let's go over the features this specific planner has. So first you can click the year tab and then every mini calendar is fully hyperlinked. So you can go right to the day, the week or the month right from the yearly page. You have the top tabs here that are clickable and hyperlinked so that you can use them for whatever you would like. The dashboard page is your main hub. So you can write your long-term to-dos, upcoming appointments. You're also gonna find your month at a glance page and your monthly review pages. There's a spot for quick messages and extra quick notes pages here at the bottom. At the top right of the planner, you're gonna find all the different template pages. And now these buttons are gonna be on every page in the planner, so it's easily accessible. So you can click to the different categories. So you have lifestyle where you have your grocery list, meal planners, key dates, and many more. There's also going to be a wellness section with different movie categories, along with health and fitness trackers, such as a hydration tracker, your steps tracker. We have a productivity section as well. It has the vision board or different project management tools, finances so that you can keep track of all your bills that you need to pay. There's also going to be a notes page that has different notes paper that you can use. You can duplicate it as many times as needed. There's also the custom page sections. Now each of these numbers are linked to a specific page so that you can add in whatever you'd like the category to be and it's already pre-linked for whatever you would need. How to add a planner cover into your planner. So you're first going to start by going back to your files app under your download section. You want to go back to the original download PDF and click covers. Then you're going to click download and it's going to bring you to the next download button where you can click download again and then it's going to automatically go to your download section once it's done you can click it and then it's going to open up your files up again where you can click the zip file to unzip and the blue folder will appear beside with your covers in it you can go ahead and tap that and then you can click planner covers and then the orientation so landscape or portrait and the year once you have the planner's covers there you can then pick which one you want to add to your planner. It will then open where you can click the share button at the top right. Once you click that, you can click save image. Now it's going to save to your photos on your device. Then you can go back to the GoodNotes app right to your planner. And then you want to go to the very first page of the planner. In your thumbnail mode, you'll see here is the very first page. And then you can click the add new page button at the top right. Once you click that, you wanna click add new page before and then image. You can then click the planner cover that you saved to your photos app. So I'm gonna go ahead and click that here at the top. And now it's gonna add that cover in. And then you can go ahead and delete the current cover that came with the planner by clicking the arrow at the bottom right and then select move to trash. And then that will be deleted and you'll have your new cover there for your planner. Now that the planner cover is in, we can add in the different charms and planner straps. So you can go to elements and then click the plus button. Once you click that, you can then go ahead and name the collection. So I'm gonna be adding in the planner straps first. So I'm just gonna type in or write in straps. After that, I'm gonna go import from, and then I'm gonna to go to the decor file. So I'm gonna to go to the covers and decor, decor, and then GoodNotes format, which is all the GoodNotes collection formats. Then I'm gonna click landscape strap since I'm using the landscape planner. And then you wanna click create. And then it's gonna add all the straps in that you can choose from to decorate your planner cover. Next, I'm just gonna choose which color strap I want in. And then you want to scroll to the bottom of the strap and then click the corner of it to make it smaller until it fits the planner perfectly. And then you can put it exactly where you want on your cover. Next, we're gonna make a new collection again. So I went to the plus section in GoodNotes Elements. I'm gonna call this one Charms, and then I'm gonna to go to Import, and then I'm going to click the Gold Charms collection, and then I'm going to create that element collection, and it's gonna add all the Gold Charms in and the other ones too, including pearls in that file. And then I'm going to decorate my planner strap with those ones. And now you can go and repeat this process to add in the silver charms along with the gold and silver initials. How to add stickers into GoodNotes. So next you wanna to go to your files app and then we're gonna click back to go to the original PDF download. Here you can click stickers and then we're gonna go ahead and click open and then download the stickers. 
it's going to automatically go to your top download section again. So once it's done, you can go ahead and click this button and then click stickers and it'll open your files up again. You'll see the zip file there. You can click it to unzip and the blue folder will appear beside with the stickers. You can click the GoodNotes format, which is already in the collection. So you can add them into the GoodNotes elements tool here. So you're going to go and scroll until you see the plus button, click the plus button, and then you can go ahead and name the collection that you would like to add in. So I'm going to do the calendar stickers import from and then i'm going to go back to the folder with the stickers click that and the good notes format and then i'm going to choose the 2026 calendar stickers to add in then you want to click create and then it's going to create that collection and so now when you go to good notes elements you can go to that specific category and click whichever calendar sticker you'd like and now you can repeat this process for all the different categories of stickers once you add the sticker in, you can resize it, you can change the angle, you can copy and paste it and use it as many times as needed. And then you'll have all your collections in there once you repeat that process. So you can easily add stickers into your planner when planning. Another GoodNotes tip with stickers is when you add two stickers in, if you want one behind, you can click it, click the three dots, then click back, and then the sticker will go right to the back behind the other one. If you're adding in the individual PNG stickers, you want to go to the PNG format file in your files app, then you can click select and then select all. It'll then select all the stickers and then you can click save images. It's now going to save them to your photos app. You can then head back to GoodNotes and then click the photo button and you can add in your sticker right from in your photos. To add the individual PNG stickers into a collection, you can go ahead and go to the element section, then click plus. You can then name that new sticker collection. So I'm going to name mine stickers. And then you want to click the add photos button. Now you can click all the stickers you saved to your photos app that were individual PNGs. Click the check mark button and then click create. And that's going to create the collection with all those stickers. So now you'll have that new collection right in your elements tool, and then you can add them into your planner. How to create a shortcut so that your planner is its own icon on your iPad's home screen. So just like this, you'll see here, I created a shortcut with an image and it'll open up my exact planner. So I'm going to show you how you can do this to your planner too. You first want to go ahead and go back to the files app and then go to the original download PDF again and click shortcut icons then select open. You first want to go ahead and download all the icon covers that you can choose from to create the shortcut on your home screen. So you'll see here it has a zip folder. I'm going to click that and then it'll unzip and I can tap the blue folder inside. I'm going to click 2026 and here's all the shortcut icons you can choose from. So once you pick your favorite one, you can then go ahead and save it to your photos app. So I'm just going to click the blue one here then click share and then save image. So now it's in my photos app on my device. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and go out of files app and then I'm gonna search for the shortcut app. So I'm just gonna type in shortcut here and then I'm gonna go ahead and open up that app. Once you're in the shortcuts app, you wanna click the plus button at the top and then you're gonna scroll to the side until you see the GoodNotes app. Then you're going to click whatever you named your planner. So I named mine just planner. Then you want to click the arrow beside and the add to home screen button. Here you can name whatever you'd like the shortcut to appear on your home screen. So I want mine to just be planner. And then you can click image and then choose photo. And this is what's going to appear on the shortcut icon. So I'm going to click the blue shortcut photo that I chose and it's going to add that. Click add and now when you click that shortcut on your home screen, that button, it'll automatically open up your exact planner file so that you don't have to go through the GoodNotes app if you don't want. If you have any questions, please reach out.